Well, the ANC is to remove the North uh, West Women's League Deputy Secretary Bitsa Lenkopane from its provincial candidates list there. Lenkopane has been convicted of fraud and assault. She is number 11 on the list for the provincial legislature. A controversial list that saw the conference delayed as delegates violently took each other on. Several figures with clouds hanging over them were elected. They include former provincial chairperson Supra Mahuma Pilum and his close ally Bitang Leungkopani, who has two convictions and another ongoing court case. This against party stances that those with criminal records will not be allowed. And now I have undergone vetting and any conviction that I had, the other one was expunged, the other one got appealed and none of them was up to 12 months. They were less than 12 months and they were all in an option of a fine and I went through the team. Lituli House blames human error for her inclusion. Because we want to play it on record, but we have uh, verified the fact indeed we have found that she has a criminal record. So far as the ANC, I think a human error occurred in this regard. We are going to submit a uh, a letter to the IEC which would officially withdraw him that will uh, correct uh, this particular anomaly. But the decision will most likely widen existing divisions, with the Women's League saying there are double standards in the application of the rules. But if you want to, uh, to amend the clause that says if you are charged, charged for less than 12 months, you are allowed to be on the list, either for provincial or national parliament. Maybe what we should do as the African National Congress is to go to policy conference and amend that law so that it can be a law that will be taken to parliament. Calls are also mounting for those on the list still facing allegations of corruption to recuse themselves or be removed. Lucas Mutibe, the SABC News, Mahikeng. So let's uh, continue to look at this. The ANC has been criticized for including several controversial names in its list of candidates to become national MPs. And that story there, it's emerged that a convicted criminal appearing on the Northwest Provincial List, the ANC uh, National Executive Committee saying it will write to the IEC to change that list. But what about KwaZulu Natal, where the Harry Gwala Mayor um, Luleki Ndobe has been arrested in connection with murder? He appears at number three to discuss with John. By the ANC acting national spokesperson Dakota Lehuete. Thank you for being with us, uh, Dakota. No, so, thank I, you very I, much, and to all the viewers at home. Sure. So, we hear what you're saying that you're going to fix the Northwest list. But, how did uh, Bitsa Lenkopane uh, get on that list in, in the first place as a convicted fraudster? And I think there was an assault charge as well. No, thank you very much. Uh, indeed, we, we have established that uh, there is a criminal record against her uh, of assault in an earlier one of 2008 of fraud, which uh, both of them, I think, in line of our voting process, she was not uh, supposed to have found herself in the list. From our establishment internally in the office, I think there was a human error on the staff members who had the password were uploading the list. Uh, they've put in erroneously the name there. And after make, being aware, uh, after SABC consulted with us, we did our verification and indeed we found out that that was the case. And uh, the Secretary General uh, is going to prepare a letter to the IEC to notify the IEC because it's our burden as a party to ensure that we declare those who are in conflict with the law. And in this case, we are going to do the same because if we continue with a name, we will be in contravention of the Electoral Act. And the IEC, if we don't do it ourselves, mm. will have to act. Well, can we clarify this? Because she's saying she may fight it because she was never convicted, never uh, sentenced to up to 12 months, saying that there are ANC documents saying you can stand as long as you weren't sentenced for up to 12 months. So, so what is the situation? Can you be a fraudster with less than 12 months or um, is 12 months the bar? Look, uh, in this regard, uh, there is a sentence. And a sentence, it's a criminal uh, uh, charge uh, with an order of the court. So we can't uh, so do... any criminal charge? Any criminal charge with an order of the court yes. without an option 
of a tw of a fine or uh, uh, or 12 months that particular order or magistrate court order or a high court order it stands but she says she, there was an option for a fine here no, that's what we're reporting but on record of the of the state it does not say uh, there was an option of a fine Okay, because yes. yeah. we heard that people with lesser demeanors could go and stand before um, the NEC at one stage and argue why they, they could go. So, so you let some people in, but it's, it can't be too serious, the, the crimes. Look, uh, what, what's the official stance is what I'm trying to get at. No, no, on the issue, we, we are clear because we don't control who becomes a candidate. That particular process is controlled by the Independent Electoral Commission as the administrators and the, uh, the institution that runs elections. So in the Electoral Act, it says uh, somebody who has been found guilty we, uh, for, more, for, for not more than 12 months without an option of a fine. That particular person is not eligible to be a candidate. Somebody who is unfit mentally and endorsed uh, by an institution uh, that deals with psychiatric services that person is not allowed to can be a candidate. And in this regard, there is a case, a, a guilt sentence against her, and she never challenged it either through an appeal. And as it is now, she never also declared it to the party when all other processes were undertaken. So it's only realized now at this stage. And I think through our processes, it might have been detected, but uh, the name was still uploaded without uh, the process uh, being okay. verified properly. Beyond the letter of the law or the IEC regulations, what is the ethical imperative of, of the party to ensure good quality candidates? What are you going to do about the mayor who appears at number three in KwaZulu Natal, who's been arrested in connection with murder of a high profile ANC official? Look, as the African National Congress, we still reiterate our position that in instances where one of us is found in conflict with the law or allegations are raised, are raised or that particular comrade is being charged, we stand in this regard with the victim, who is also a late leader of the NC of League, Comrade Cindy Somaka. What we would wish is for the law to undertake its process. As Lutulia House, we have already instructed our provincial executive committee in KwaZulu Natal to consider before the end of this week by Sunday to have a provincial working committee meeting and they must pronounce themselves in this regard because it's clear from all the issues that are raised about the ANC from integrity, ethics and morality processes we have been found wanting as a movement and we have undertaken a process of renewal of self-corrections and it is clear we cannot have a leader uh, of the caliber of an, a mayor of a town who's behind custody. We cannot have a lead of the NC uh, who's uh, a public office bearer who's behind custody. Whether there is a pronouncement of guilt or innocence, something must be done by the provincial leadership of Kwasu Natal so that we do not unnecessarily overburden the ANC on issues and allegations which are raised mm -hmm. against individual members. But, but this leaves an outstanding issue, which is the, the national list. So people like Batabile Dlamini and Malusi Gigaba, who were have found to have lied to the courts, are included. Uh, Numvulu Mokonyane, Mosebenze Zwani, implicated in state capture, are there on your national list on their way to parliament? Yes, look, on the issue of uh, uh, Malusi Gigaba and Batabile Dlamini, that particular matter in terms of the Executive Ethics Act, it's a matter that belongs to the president in terms of custodial reprimand. He was supposed to have done it, uh, the president in his capacity as the chief executive of the republic and the head of the executive against the two comrades. So far, Malusi Kikaba voluntarily resigned. Comrade Batabilesh is still there. The president has not pronounced himself related to that particular court case. And he's the only one in terms of the authority who has that particular power. But secondly, on the issue of Comrade Nomvola Mukonyane have been mentioned in the state of capture, we are still pushing it uh, forward as the NC that any comrade who's implicated in any commission we will not make a running commentary or even come to any conclusion without due processes. In this regard, it means that we can't 
on the mention of uh, corruption or implication of any of our comrades in a commission draw conclusions. Can I, can I just that ask one question? One of them is, it, is, is it not good enough that ministers are found to have lied to the court? That, that's a clear cut case. Ministers is are appointed according to the Constitution of the Republic. Ministers are appointed and dismissed by the President. That is a well placed, placed uh, source yeah. and authority. But on the, that I'm can talking about the list, not ministers. I'm talking that they are on the list right now. Look, on the list, we apply principles of jurisprudence and laws of natural justice, wherein somebody is innocent until proven, proven otherwise. And in this regard, Chapter 2 of the Constitution of the Republic, Bill of Rights, gives the same rights to the complainant and the respondent, uh, to the perpetrator and the victim. So as it is the case now, the third comrades have not been brought before a competent court of law. So far, we are accusing them through the court of public opinion. Mm. Until no, a competent I'm talking, court of law... You're not hearing me, Mr. Alekwete. I'm talking about uh, two people who courts found that they lied. The courts found that they lied. Yes, I've referred to you to the Ethics Executive Act, uh, which reprim uh, custodial reprimand can only be done by the All president right. of the republic as the chief executive of the republic and the head of the executive so in this regard the president if he has not announced himself we can't play president all, all of right. us only one president is allowed to do so all right i have to ask you your your reaction to escom's uh, latest statement uh, the reports at stage five stage six are possibilities they cannot rule that out as a party, um, how, how are you reacting to ESCOM um, as the governing party as well that's, that's been accused of putting people in place uh, with lists like these in the past that haven't done well for us? Look, uh, on the issue of ESCOM, it's just quite uh, regrettable that we find ourselves in this regard. I think we knew some many years back that we would reach this particular stage and we did not prepare enough to ensure that we avert the situation that we're in. But it's even further exacerbated by the natural attrition that happened in our neighboring country, Mozambique, where we have some of our water, uh, water-borne uh, turbines in Kaurabasa, when there were floods and uh, cyclone, which disrupted some of the power supply to our country. It's a matter that we can do best on it. But others like maintenance, like diesel, uh, like other things which have been raised. Those are things that if we, we, we are better uh, positioned, we can work on them and get them corrected. But also is to, for us as a republic to ensure that we implement the energy mix that we have resolved about as the ANC conference, that where possible nuclear must be brought in, IPPs must be brought in, and other forms, weather gas, because it has become very clear that for cooking going forward, for other related uh, electricity responsibilities, we will have to convert to gas. And the sooner gas comes in, the better for us, so that we can offload the grid. Because cooking, uh, geysers, uh, kettles, and irons, other things, need to go to gas. And uh, all other countries in the world, even first world countries, are using gas as the alternative method of energy. And I think the sooner we get there, the better for us, uh, so that we have low degree. We can build more power stations. Right. We can get into IPPs and other things. But still, we need to resolve the matter of how do we offload the grid. All right. Thank you. Uh, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much. ANC Acting National Spokesperson, Dakota Legoe.